Hi everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. I just want to make this short video to show you the new options of a version 7.5 of Cricut Design Space. So the first new option is the text option. You already had the uh, update before that when you click on the text, there's no more contextual box you need to type right in. So people got a bit confused with this. So just want to tell you that you click on the text and you don't need to do anything else. The only thing you need to do is just start typing what you want to write. So let's say I want to write hello. That's it. You just type in. So if you want to modify the text, you only need to double click right here and then place your cursor wherever you want to also write other things. The new thing I want to show you is that if you just click once on the text, you'll have like you used to the four uh, little icons here, but you also have now those little rectangles. These re rectangles are very useful. Now, if you do this, you won't notice what happens. But if I go close to the letters, you'll see that they will uh, wrap the text to the other lines. So that is pretty cool. It's really more useful if you have more than only one word written. <laughs> so let me just double click and write, hello, how are you? So you see that it goes to the other line. And if I click once on it and I can come here and have the text only on one line, I have multiple lines, I can alignment and go to the center and also play with it like that. So this is pretty cool and I'm really happy it's finally there. <laughs> Another new thing I want to show you is that when I hit make it, if you have a Maker 3, an Explore 3, or a Joy, you will have this window that will pop up. So this window will tell you if you want to cut without a mat, on a mat, or multiple ways if you have more than one layer on your Canva. So each time you have to select this. Now there's a possibility to bypass this if you want. If you're used to always cut on a mat or always cut without a mat, you can come here in the settings and then in here, prepare, you will see a default setting. So for my Cricut Maker 3, you can really select any Cricut you have. For my Maker 3, I could tell Design Space that I usually cut on a mat 12 by 12. So let's see what it does. If I click done and I hit make it again, you're going to see that the step is bypass, but I can still change it right here. If I want to cut it without a mat, I can select it without a mat and go to right there. There's no problem there. You can still change it. It's just that it's easier than having to select it all the time.